So that's kind of like what hate looks like for her. <laughs> What's up folks? Hate is a powerful, complex emotion that all of us feel and most of us, including me, do not know how to deal with. We are out here today to see if kids have any advice on how to deal with hate. Let's do it. Do you feel like there's a lot of hate in the world? Um, yes. Why do you think that is? Because you have to take a deep breath and say sorry, maybe. Do you think that'll fix things? Yep. And hugging. Have you ever felt hate before? Yeah. I really hate calling. And I also have an allergy. I'm also allergic. Wait, you really hate what? The eel in cars. If I stay in a car too long, I actually get car sick. Because I'm allergic and I also have an allergy. You have an allergy to car air? Yeah. That's hard. Yeah. So how? That's why my family always take short car rides. That's very respectful of them that they do that. Put a piece of gum in my mouth and then my grown ups give me a mask. Do you know what hate is? Bad, bad, bad word. Have you ever felt that feeling before? Kind of. Well, then how do you get past that? Just take a deep breath. Do you feel better? Oh, I like that. That, that, was, a, that was a nice little touch. <laughs> it's third nap time, so I'm going to have to get them home soon. So, my friend, we're talking today about big, intense feelings, specifically the feeling of hate. What does that word mean to you? Like you want to fight it. Like I always wanted to fight COVID. Do you hate COVID? If COVID was a person, I would punch in its face. I <laughs> think it's called like a suplex where you like j jump and you land with your elbow on someone. Like Dwayne Johnson, the people's elbow. Yeah, the people's elbow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, you, you know, how you feel when you feel hate? <laughs> So that's kind of like what hate looks like for her. <laughs> do you think hate is a good feeling or a bad feeling? Good feeling. A good feeling? Let's talk about that. Why do you think hate is a good feeling? Because every feeling is good because you feel something. But is hate an easy feeling to have? Yes. Really? <laughs> How do you move on from it? Maybe play with like a Play-Doh barbecue thing, because that's what I have. You'd be mashing it into a hamburger and a bun, and it's fun. Yeah. Today we're talking to children about hatred. You're really mad at a lot of people. That's how I think it is. What does it feel like? Beef patties and how they're really spicy. That's how it feels. Like my head is burning up into flames. Sorry, when you feel hatred, it feels like a spicy beef patty? Yeah. When you start to eat it and it like spices up, hatred is like a Christmas present. When I open it, it's poop. Ugh. That would be... <laughs> yeah, how do you get over hatred? When me and my friends are playing and then they say that I'm the best friend ever. If hate was a color, what would it be? Um, purple. If hate was a shape, what shape would it be? A circle. If hate was a food, what would it be? Pizza. What? <laughs> Defend that. Explain yourself right now. <laughs> on a dog. On a dog. A pizza on a dog is the embodiment of hatred. <laughs> yes. What does hate smell like? It smells like a very bad fart. So, uh, how do you deal with hate? And letting my brain help me control my emotions to get it away. All right, I'm going to be your brain. You be yourself when you're feeling hate. I hate this. I hate you. Hey, buddy, it's me, your brain. Keep yourself in check. Okay, brain. All right, you be my brain. You ready? Ah, so hateful. Listen to me. I'm your brain. You must calm down and control your feelings. I don't want to. But you're out of control. Maybe if you uh, gave me $20, I'd calm down. That's not how it works. All right, all right, I'm chilling out, I'm chilling out, I'm feeling better. Thanks, Brain. It's just that easy. <laughs> Can I see the face you make when you hate something? Oh, this is an awful day. Uh, you just got pooped on by a bird. Oh, 
Oh, I hate this. Why do you feel like hate is a feeling that people get? Because you can't really control it. But hate, you're just like too mad to even think about apologizing. What do you think hate does? Can really grump you, make you very upset, and it could even hurt pe um, your people's feelings, even if they didn't do anything. What do you want to say to all the haters out there, all the people who are feeling a lot of hate in their heart? There's a saying called, sticks and stones may bake my bones, but words will never hurt me. I, that's not true, because words can actually hurt you. And I have a tip. Say, hey, I can see that you're having a hard day. Would you like to go get ice cream with me or something? Why do you think people feel hate? Because they have feelings. Do you think it's okay to feel that feeling? Yup. You should stop hating like everything. <laughs> can you show me the face and the sound you make when you hate something? Me! Oh my gosh, uh, Whoa! do not fall off the wall we are on, are you? Hate is not the best feeling. It's like at the bottom level of like bad feelings. How do you move past hate? Because it's a hard place to be in forever, you know? I don't know. That's hard, right? Yeah, I, I don't know how. What are the best feelings to feel? In the big market on a, a warm day without a jacket in spring. Yeah, yeah. How do you get past that? How do you, or how do you deal with it? What, what do you do? Chill, walk away, and I don't know what else. That's usually what I do. Yeah, what's the third step? Kick a bottle. Oh, people's elbow. But not a human. That's very dangerous. Don't do it to a human. People's elbow for pillows. Do not be a hateful person. Be a nice and calm and kind person that helps people. Like, there are a lot of diversities in this world, yeah. and people be mean to, like, bully those people just to make themselves feel better about it themselves. But it actually doesn't work because now you're just being mean. Don't spread hate. Hey, simple as that. I promise not to hate. Yep, so do I. All right, let's do it. High five. That was amazing. What did you just say to me? What did you say? I said that I act. I'm on TV. I do commercials. I can name a couple of things I did. Target, Gap, Macy's, uh, Nickelodeon. Can I name some of my credits? I play Linus in Your Good Man, Charlie Brown. Yeah. Um, yeah, one of them titled Peanuts. Um, I played Lysander in Midsummer. Cool. <laughs> to just let you know, I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh oh. Hey, let me just, here's, here's my most impressive thing. Boom. <laughs> I'm tall. I, I wouldn't be tall. <laughs>